Hello, welcome to Connolly Outdoors. Liam and I are in Rondo, and we're at the Rondo campsite. Unfortunately, <laughs> we, it's very busy here, and uh, we didn't realize, even though we picked a site we thought was away from people, but as it turns out, we are right in amongst all the campers here, so there's not too much we can do. The campsite is super tiny as well, so we're going to try to make the best of it here, despite the fact that it's not the greatest campsite, but we're going to we're going to see what we can do to uh, make it the best we can. It's my birthday. I'm 59 years old today, and um, we're going to try and make it a good evening, have a good camp. Well, we were just about to start tying our tent down a little bit better. And guy lined it out when I saw the warden drive by. And I stopped the warden's truck and asked him if there's any other campsites available that are less populated, maybe a little bit bigger and uh, not as many people and vehicles and whatever. So they're going to get back to me and let me know. So Liam and I are just on temporary hold here, even though we just got here. We're on temporary hold and uh, we may be moving. So I'll update you guys what's going on shortly. All right. Well, the warden came by and gave us a whole whack of sites that are available. So we're going to go and rebook a new site and we're going to try to find one with less people and they they gave us a recommendation and uh so we are now <laughs> going to tear down and go over to our new site so we'll get back to you guys and update you soon the drama continues well <laughs> what an ordeal the campsite we originally booked quite frankly <clears throat> probably the worst campsite we've ever been in it was so small we couldn't fit two vehicles in it it was really busy congested like literally people everywhere impossible for filming so um like i said we um spoke to the warden they came back and suggested a few spots so here we are campsite 189 i'll give you a tour of it shortly it's 10 times better than what we were just in <laughs> and 10 times bigger and there's nobody around except for a few people but they're far away from us so this is so much better so now we're going to get to uh, resetting our tent up i'll get back to you soon all right so we got the tent set up and now we're um, going to get our sleep systems going and I'm starving. So we're going to get some food going. The mosquitoes are a little rampant. I've got my new thermocell here, which I'll show you guys shortly. In the meantime, tent set up. We're just going to keep plugging away here. All right, so we just added the guy lines. As you saw, tents all set. So now I'm starving. Liam's already eaten. He ate earlier because he got here before me. He came in two separate vehicles. So now I'm going to get myself something to eat. All right, so I'm going to start up the 
gas stove here and uh, some water on here. Show you what I'm having shortly. So here's what I'm having by Alpine Air Hearty Beef Stew. So that's the dehydrated meal this evening for me. There's a couple of other ones. Liam already had macaroni and cheese. He's going to have chicken and rice again, I think, later. Now here's the mosquito thermocell that I was talking about. So this screws onto the gas can canister and emits the uh, into the air the chemical that mosquitoes don't like because it's actually quite a few of them around here. It's really easy to start. There was the viewer there. You just push this up, turn it on, push that up, look through there, make sure it's lit, and you're good to go. So this water is boiling up unbelievably fast. <laughs> so fast I can't even keep up. I don't think it's almost boiled. I'll give you guys a tour of the campsite, but I got to eat. <laughs> Shortly, very shortly. Looks good. Lots of nice veggies in there and whatnot. I'll show you once I get the water in. That was unbelievably quick, how quickly that boiled. Well, compared to last time in that wind. <laughs> so let's pour the water in here. I think that's enough. Stir it up. I seem to have misplaced my spoon, but I got a fork. It's an extendable one. Should do the job. I just don't want to pierce the packaging. I'm actually going to put a little bit more water in there. And I'll show it to you guys. And I got a new mic, as you can hear. <laughs> if you watch my last video, the mic broke five minutes in. So I got a new mic, and this is a better mic, to be totally honest. Yeah, that looks good. Let me show that to you guys quickly. That definitely looks good. So I'm really happy with this new mic. Seems to be working really well. We're going to let that sit for about 15 minutes and then we are going to eat. All right, so I got my meal finally ready to eat. These um, Alpine Air meals, they're not paying me to say this, but the ones that I've had so far, really good. I've never had this one. Hardy beef stew, it's got pasta and beef and stuff in there. And let's try it out and see what it's like. Good. N lots of nice um, spices in there. Yeah, this is really good. Hmm. Can't go wrong with these. One thing I will say, though, in my experience with these meals, you have to let them cook. You've got to let them sit 15 minutes at least. Otherwise, you're going to get crunchy bits and stir it up at the seven minute mark as well so that you don't get the crunchy stuff at the bottom because that's what you're going to get. But I've learned my lesson the hard way. <laughs> like I'm pulling from the bottom right now and it's all cooked. Yeah, beautiful. All right. I'm going to eat this meal. And then uh, it's not too dark yet. I think it's around 730. We're really happy with this campsite, so I'm going to give you a tour of it. All right, I'm going to give you a little tour of the campsite. We're going to start in the back. <laughs> so this is our backyard.
And as you can see, it's pretty huge <clears throat> compared to the... I, I didn't really film much at the last campsite. We just weren't there very long. I did not like it at all. <laughs> this is way better. Way better. Fire pit area. Our vehicles. There's our tent. Right behind our tent here. Really nice here. We really like this so much better. I'm going to make a fire shortly when it starts to get a little bit darker. I did bring the solo stove, but this fire pit is pretty good too. So <laughs> we're going to debate which one we're going to use. Solo stove versus fire pit. We will see. Fire's going good now. So we're just going to maintain it for the, the rest of the uh, evening, but it looks great. And uh, we're just going to relax a little bit now. All right, so we're finally getting a little relaxation time. How's the chicken and rice, Liam? You liking it? Good, good stuff. Fire's going really nice, and uh, now we're starting to settle in a little bit on the, in this campsite. All right, there's a very special person's birthday today. Connolly Outdoors right here is celebrating his very old birthday. We're not gonna reveal that age because it's just a little. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed, I'm 59 years old. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Okay, so <laughs> couldn't find cakes. So mm. we got the next best thing I could find. We got some danishes fresh <laughs> out of the bakery. So uh, we're gonna celebrate. Our this birthday boy with the uh, what do you mean you couldn't find cakes i couldn't find cakes i didn't look that hard yeah there we go <laughs> the truth comes out. he didn't look that hard he probably walked right by all the cakes oh danishes you <laughs> <laughs> right. can calm down so <laughs> are you eating my danish there you go okay I'm going to grab one as well. We're both going to celebrate together. So we have <clears throat> some candles. We got three candles here. I'm going to hand two over to the man himself. And then I'm going to take one as well. And now we're going to light them up. There we go. 
All right. Oh, oh, no, it stayed. Okay. Okay. Happy birthday, Connolly Outdoors. <laughs> Happy birthday, Connolly Outdoors. Happy birthday, Connolly Outdoors. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Thank you very much, Liam. You're awesome. That was that was really funny. That was funny. You gotta lick the icing off. Uh oh, pass. Well just put it on the floor. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right. All right, let's, let's eat get this. A bite. They're nice. Yeah, these are nice. That's bloody lovely. stuff good stuff Connolly good outdoors time. thank you very much Liam but we're not done yet oh we're not done yet <clears throat> oh you still got your gifts so you sit right there okay <laughs> well. close your eyes okay Maybe some blues. all right you put two things in your hands you pick whatever one you want to get up with first all right, you can open them. I'll look at this one first. Oh, maybe I'll look at the card first. All right, you can take a look at the card. Just yeah. Okay. What does it say? It says Connolly Outdoors on it. Connolly. Here. Oh. <clears throat> it says Connolly Outdoors right there on it. So that's how you know it's legit. <laughs> What's it say? What's it say? Someone turning one today, and I just found a clue. Are you kidding me? So my camera too. Covering this guy. Someone's turning one today, and I just found a clue. It's someone super cute and sweet. It simply must be you. Happy first birthday! Happy birthday, Connolly Outdoors! Thanks for you for being my favorite YouTuber. I'm your number one fan. Love Liam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little drawing in there too. The Liam I a, touch. I did a little drawing in there. There was a little drawing in there. A lovely drawing. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. It's a t-shirt. I'm going to say it's a t-shirt. I'm really nervous about what's on here. <laughs> I'm that cool dad you've been hearing about. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I'm <laughs> that... dollar store for four bucks. <laughs> I'm that cool dad you've been hearing about. That's awesome. Uh, yep. You Thank you very much, Liam. Me, I will. Let's. Uh... You're that cool dad everybody's been hearing about. All so right. I thought I'd get you a shirt. Let me... Oh, I'm that cool dad that everyone's been talking about. That's a nice shirt you got there. Whoever got that's a pretty thoughtful guy. Yeah. Thank you very much, Liam. Pretty awesome. I spent a grand total of five dollars on your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna put my microphone back on. Happy birthday, Connolly Outdoors. Try that again. For <sighs> Happy birthday, Connolly Outdoors. Thanks, Liam. That was pretty cool. Hey, it, it's the thought that counts, Liam. I appreciate it. You know? Yeah, I got you some awesome stuff. So. We decided to go down to the beach area, so we're just walking through this path to get to the beach area. And uh, we thought we'd bring you guys along. You can hear the waves. <laughs> it's a great sound. Oh, wow. Beautiful sand here leading up to the beach. Wow, this is great. Wow, there's nobody here. <laughs> we thought for sure there would be people here. Wow, this is fantastic beach. Beautiful Lake Erie. That is great. we got to bring our chairs down here and sit down here and drink coffee in the morning i think this is going to be our spot in the morning wow this is beautiful here i 
was expecting it to be busy, Dad. Me too. There's nobody here. One guy down there. No, one guy just sitting <laughs> and relaxing. We were not expecting this beach to be so uninhabited and nice. Just fantastic. The beach is 11 kilometers? 11 kilometers of straight beach. And it's, it's a big beach. We can drive down further, Dad, tomorrow. There's 11 access points. The furthest one is 11 down there. And then from there, like, if you look if you're looking south, nothing out there. Just pure beach and wow. trees. Fantastic. Beautiful beach here. Really, really beautiful here. This is great. It's about 8.30 at night. We decided to take a quick walk down to the beach, just check it out. I've never been here before. Liam's been here before, but I've never been here before. The mosquitoes. Oh, little flower for you. Oh, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> I thought it was a mosquito. It's laying its eggs. I think he is, or she is, I should say. Okay, let's not bother her too much. I no, think she's literally laying her eggs right now. Oh my god, I think she's actually laying eggs. She's dug a little hole. Yeah, All right, let's leave her alone. Yeah, she's laying eggs. Okay, well, we'll come back later. Yeah, we'll leave her alone because it's private time for mom. I know you can't tell in the video, but that's actually a bat. Oh yeah, there he is. Weird, huh? We're seeing some weird things. Turtles laying their eggs and bats. You can tell they're bats because they're flying weirder. Yeah, I can see that there's bats there. So we've got some bats flying over top of us. <laughs> that's never happened before. I don't know if you can see it. My life, Dad. Liam's never seen a bat before. When I was young, we used to have bats erratic <laughs> so i'm i've seen them many times but there's a bunch of them flying around i don't know if you can see them in the video though you can't it, it, they look like birds on the yeah screen. they're really hard to see but i've never seen bats before that's cool cool all right well we are back at the campsite the beach was amazing it's dark now it's about i don't know 9 30 9 40 we're just relaxing and taking in this fire now Really nice around here. It's quiet. We're really enjoying ourselves. It's 9.30 and not pitch black. It's not quite pitch black, not yet. No. Insane. It's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah. No, it's still a little bit of light out. That's how we were able to see those bats. Yeah. If it was pitch black, we would not have been able to see those bats. because there's no birds flying around now. All the birds are settled down when the bats come out. Yeah. <laughs> All 
All right, now I gotta get my sleep system together because I haven't done it yet. It's about 10, 15, so we're just getting ready for bed now. All right, well, now I am going to uh, get my sleep system organized here since normally I do this much, much sooner in the process, but I, uh, I did not this time. I'm doing it last, which is really unusual for me. This is usually one of the very first things that I do. <laughs> so this is strange. You got everything backwards. You're right. <laughs> so just trying to get my stuff organized here. That was difficult. <sighs> really difficult. <laughs> I just want to lie down now. Just for a second. <laughs> All right, it's quite hot. I brought a winter sleeping bag thinking it was gonna be cool, but it's quite hot in here. It's gonna cool down though, I'm sure. It's hard filming in these small tents Liam and I were talking about. We're used to filming in the hot tent. Way more room, walk around in these, technically a four man tent, which I never really, I know. How could Three four minutes. four people could like line up? It is four people could fit in here, but you couldn't have four people in here comfortably. It's impossible. There's no way you could do that. Yeah, not easy getting it all in here. There we go. Cool. I got some water here too. Liam. All right, this is not easy getting in here. How you have managed to actually even do this? <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> there. Oh, that was painful, Liam. Oh, I got my little fan here. Oh, that feels good because it's hot in here. Oh, luckily I brought some water. You want some? I'll grab it. Well, I brought one in here for you. Okay, well, I'm going to uh, say goodnight to everybody, and we will see you in the morning. Unless something happens overnight, you won't hear from us until the a.m. We plan on going down to the beach, and uh, Liam can drink his orange juice, and I'll drink some coffee. <laughs> That's our plan in the morning as soon as we get up. Oh, somebody's car alarm just went off. That's awesome. Oh, they caught it. All right, so good night. See you in the morning. Good morning, 7 a.m. Not a bad morning. It's overcast. It's kind of dewy. The table's soaking wet. Can't really sit down, but um, the mosquitoes are out already, so I've already got the thermocell going. I'm just going to grab myself a coffee because I really would like to have a coffee. It was a bit of a rough night. <laughs> And I'll explain in a second once I just get this coffee roll in here. So I'm going to use this to filter the coffee, or filter the coffee and um, using coffee grains right directly into the water. So I've never done this before. So this is new. I saw this, I've seen Tony do this from Random Adventures and I've seen Lone Wolf, I think it's 902 Canadian guy from Nova Scotia. I've seen him use this. So I thought I would give it a try. So this is the coffee grains I'm going to try. Maxwell House Original Roast. That's what I'm going to give it a try today. I'm going to give you the rundown last night. We had a rough night because people. <laughs> people are the ones that always ruin camping. 
Liam and I, we are not late night people because he has to get up every day so early. He gets up at 4.15 almost every day to go in for his swim practice. And I'm also an early riser. I don't go, I don't stay up late. So we can hear people off in the distance screaming, yelling, drunken, partying, you know, that's normal. But there was a lady fairly close to us, but I don't know exactly where she's located. At first I thought she rolled in and after we went to bed and was in the campsite right next door to us because it sounded like she was really close. But when I get up this morning, nobody's at the campsite on either side of us. There's somebody further down, like about three campsites down, and there's people across from us, but again, quite far away. But she sounded like she was right beside us. It's bizarre. And she just kept randomly screaming and yelling and swearing. She only had a few words in her vocabulary, and um, she just kept repeating them. <laughs> so the F word was very, very uh, popular last night. I don't know who she was talking to because I could only hear her screaming. I couldn't hear anyone else actually in a conversation with her. So unless she was doing what I'm doing, <laughs> filming, uh, I'm very confused, but sh this went on for quite some time of her randomly screaming and yelling and ranting and you were in my car and <laughs> you stole my car or whatever. I don't know what she was saying. I was trying not to pay attention, but so that went on for quite a while. It took a while to get to sleep, but finally did manage to get to sleep. And, uh, I actually woke up around 630, just sort of mumbled around in the tent a little bit, Liam's still sleeping, and then I finally got up and really, really want to have my coffee now. So let's enjoy a coffee. So I'm using this filter here. I saw a couple of other YouTubers, uh, Lone Wolf 902 and uh, Random Adventures using this filter, so I thought I'd try it. So I got some coffee grains in here, and we're gonna filter the water through very shortly. All right, first taste of coffee is always the best, even though it's super hot. Let's try this because I've never made this like this before, so let's try it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Just a little bit of milk. I used to take sugar, but I quit the sugar. The only time I ever put sugar in coffee now is just a quarter sugar if I have a coffee at Tim Hortons. Because I find that the coffee without the sugar is just um, it's bitter. So um, while I normally drink coffee, any coffee that I make with no sugar in it, Tim Hortons, I like just to put a tiny bit in. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm enjoying that. Okay, so I don't know, it's about 7.15 now or so. I'm just having my coffee, like I said. Liam's still sleeping. I won't make breakfast till he gets up, but uh, I got a nice little breakfast planned and uh, it's still quiet around here. It's a little misty. I love the way the tent's set up between these two trees. It's a really cool setup. <laughs> we enjoyed uh, taking the pictures of the tent and with us in the tent around those trees, but this is the campsite here. It's a huge campsite, which is fantastic compared to yesterday's arrival campsite. But I'm not going to beat a dead horse and talk about that all the time. Just enjoying what we're doing here now. All right, so like I said, I'm just going to enjoy my coffee for a little bit and then um, make some breakfast when Liam wakes up shortly. Well, Liam's still not up. It's 8.30. <laughs> and I normally eat breakfast right away when I get up, but uh, I've been putting it off for him. But 
he's not getting up so i'm not waiting any longer i'm just going to make some oatmeal to start i got some other things too i'm just going to make a simple bit of oatmeal just to get started um and when he gets up see if he wants oatmeal or sausages and eggs and stuff that i have we'll see but in the meantime i'm just going to get started here with some oatmeal One thing that I'm adamant about is keeping a clean campsite. I think everybody should be. Should all, I always clean up, especially with, um, not that there's particularly bears around here, but a lot of camping that I do, there is bears and animals and stuff, and you've got to keep a clean campsite to avoid them, honestly. Okay. Oh, yeah, I got lots of food in here. And he's going to be happy. I got him some Gatorade. All right, so I'm just going to make this oatmeal to get the party started for breakfast, and we'll go from there. Not a bad morning. It's kind of <coughs> foggy morning, but it's not bad. Cover that up, let it sit for a little bit, cook it up, and we'll eat it. Just a simple little bit of oatmeal. Liam's finally up. Yay! <laughs> Apparently he did not hear the crazy woman screaming and ranting last night, so good for him. I sure as hell heard her. Still haven't figured out where she's camped at because... There's nobody really that close to us. So it's weird. Because she was so loud. Anyways. I'm going to enjoy my oatmeal. And then Liam and I are going to... Well, he's going to have some breakfast. And then uh, we're going to go to the beach. We made it to the beach. It's beautiful down here. It's a little chillier here than it is at the campsite. Quite a bit. Temperature dropped by probably 10 degrees. It's, uh, it's chilly down here, but... Not complaining. It's beautiful. There's all the water is pretty aggressive this morning, but it's nice. I'm enjoying it. And I have my coffee and sit by the uh, Lake Erie here and on the beach and enjoy myself. Great down here, ain't they? Yeah, I love this. Yeah, they're beautiful. Ormond Beach in Florida, yeah. <laughs> Except that's the ocean, not uh, the Atlantic Ocean, not a lake. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That was a beautiful beach there, Ormond Beach, Florida. I really like that beach. Still can't get over those beaches. Oh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yelling. Remember the homeless person yelling at us? For no reason? Seems to be a lot of people yelling for no reason. <laughs> people got to learn to relax. Take in the beautiful sights around them and just... One of the things that reasons why Liam and I love camping so much is it just takes us away from the grind of, uh, in his case, swim training and school. And uh, in my case, work, just get away from it and uh, sit out here and just take in, take this in and enjoy and relax. <clears throat> Liam and I are so happy to be out here camping. We wish we could do it more often, but once a month seems to be what we can do, but July, <laughs> we got lots of camps planned in July, so July is going to be a really special month for camping. You missed the hot tent, Liam? Yeah. <laughs> Despite the fact that uh, it's great to be able to camp and you're not freezing your tail off, I do enjoy that hot tent. I'm looking forward to getting back into the winter camping down the road again. But for the meantime, 
Exactly. I'm just going to enjoy this for now. Because we don't get to do this winter camping. Remember that one place we went? It was minus 30, minus 35. On the beach, and we were out there. <laughs> that was totally ridiculous. And that's probably 12 degrees, but it's a little bit windy, as you can see, because of the waves. But um, it's not, it's a little chilly, but with the wind, but this is nothing. 12 degrees with a little bit of wind. No sun, though, it's completely overcast, but still, still nice out here. There's nobody on this beach except for us here. Wow, fantastic. This is living right here. Right there. There's five fish surrounding the lure. Oh, oh, he touched it. Don't pull it away when he touches it, Ben. I don't know if you can see, but there's five fish surrounding our lure right off the dock. This is, this is insane. He touched it, Dad. <laughs> yeah, they're all around it, but nobody's biting it. Oh, my God. There's two right there. Two fish right there checking out the lure. Oh my God, they're like dogs coming up and sniffing it. Yeah, 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 come on. He's right there. <laughs> I don't know, Liam, I don't think they like the smell or something. Even though it's a lake uh, design lure, they keep coming up to it, checking it out, and then not biting. All right, well, another camp is done. We are packed up. As you can see behind me here, the tent is down and we are all packed up. What started off as a disaster ended in an amazing camp. So we went from rags to riches. <laughs> Anyways, thanks very much for joining us on another one of our camping adventures. And as always, keep camping. See ya.